There's no doubt that milk and milk products can be delicious. Think about it. Melted cheese, ice cream, and hundreds if not thousands of dishes prepared with some sort of milk derivative. This is not mentioning that humans, as well as mammals, need milk to survive during the first few months of development. It's undeniable. Now, why is it that so many scientists and doctors are now telling us that milk consumption might not be such a good idea? So in today's video, I'm going to reveal some of the most important reasons why milk might not be such a good idea as you originally thought, and why you should make an effort to reduce its consumption in your diet. Hey guys, Dr. Gus here, naturopath, acupuncturist, conventional doctor, and founder of DrLandivar.com. In this channel, as a conventional doctor, I treat my patients through natural medicine before recurring to the use of pharmaceutical drugs. So if you're new to my channel, consider subscribing and press that bell down below to see notifications and be the first one to watch a new video. If you need a line of appointment quality supplements for your disease, visit DrLandivar.com and stay till the end of this video. I'm going to share extra tips and video links related to this topic. There's no doubt that milk is one of the best sources for calcium in our diets. This is one of the main reasons why milk and milk products are so heavily advertised for bone health and for structure. But wait a minute, containing calcium doesn't make a food beneficial for overall health. New studies have now proven that dairy products contribute to overall saturated fat, calorie and cholesterol content that we consume in our diets. They might also be contributing to increased risk for obesity, heart disease, and type 2 diabetes. All obviously conditions we should be careful to avoid all we can. So in today's video, I'll reveal some of the most important reasons why milk might not be such a good idea as you originally thought, and why you should make an effort to reduce its consumption in your diet. Number 1. Milk consumption may cause multiple sclerosis. You see, multiple sclerosis is a condition that affects the brain and our spinal cord, causing a wide range of potential symptoms that may include, for example, vision problems, arm or leg movement, sensations, or even a disruption in balance. This is a life-threatening condition that sometimes causes serious disability and if not identified properly can cause even death. These researchers studied the relations between MS prevalence and dairy product consumption in 27 countries and 29 populations all over the world. Not a small study. What they found is that apparently some proteins in cow milk mimic parts of the myelin content in our nerve cells. Curiously enough, this is a part of the myelin thought to initiate an autoimmune reaction in a mass. Basically can trick the immune system into initiating an attack on, this, on these cells and hence demyelinization. In other words, the immune system starts attacking our nerves without return. So terrible, simply devastating. And this is one of the main reasons why so many doctors today are starting to advise their patients not to abuse in the consumption of milk and dairy products. Although dairy products can be delicious, the truth is we are only capable, naturally capable of digesting breast milk until we are around one year old. After that, just like any other mammal in the world, milk digestion becomes a problem and it might cause sensitivities, allergies, and problems in the future. So be very, very careful about milk consumption and dairy products. Not a good idea and not something that you should be taking lightly. Think about that. Number two, milk consumption is tied to bone fractures. This is a shocker and might completely be the opposite of what you have been hearing for decades now. Milk, in fact, is decalcifying. You see, several very interesting studies have observed that bone fractures are usually more common in countries with the highest consumption of milk. One of these studies, for example, published in the British Medical Journal, followed 600,000 women and 45,000 men for more than 20 years. And you'll be surprised with the results. Among women, those who consumed three or more glasses of milk per day had a 60% increased risk for developing hip fractures. The complete opposite of what we've been told for so many years. And for women who consumed three or more glasses of milk per day, 
it was a risk of 93%. So be careful. The numbers are obviously unbelievable, and we have been thinking that drinking milk for years now, the numbers are actually unbelievable. We have been drinking milk for all these years thinking that just because milk contains calcium, this necessarily means that it's a good source for bone health. And this is not true. We have to be very careful about paying attention to certain myths. Just because something contains calcium doesn't necessarily mean that we have bone health or we can have a bone structure. Number three, milk and dairy products cause inflammation. Let me tell you a secret that most people don't know about. Children and grown men and women do not have the enzyme required to digest milk or dairy products, and this is a serious problem. You see, milk contains lactose, a protein that needs to be digested with an enzyme called lactase, one we naturally produce when we are babies or toddlers. The problem is that as time goes by, we lose the ability to digest milk due to the lack of the same enzyme. The human body is unable to break down that lactose, passing through our intestines untouched until it reaches the colon. Once inside the colon, lactose starts to ferment, and bacteria within starts to form gas, resulting in bloating. The fermentation caused by the release of short-chain fatty acids as well as gas, including for example hydrogen, methane, and carbon dioxide, causes problems. Sadly, this is where we start to have stomach pain, cramps, and inflammation. You have to be well aware of it, because eating and drinking products that contain lactose might be helping you experience bloating, pain, and suffering with lactose intolerance, inflammation, and bad digestion overall. If you need a good quality supplement that contains every single enzyme you need to improve every food you might be digesting, even milk, cheese, or any other product containing lactose and other proteins that are hard to digest, look for D-enzymes and probilin from Phylon at DrLandDevar.com. Number four, all sorts of allergies and skin problems. You'd be surprised to see how many skin conditions can appear as a result of lactose intolerance. There are multiple studies that support a link between acne, for example, and dairy consumption. Not to name every single condition that has to do with your skin. Eczema, you name it. I've personally seen how several patients that eliminate dairy consumption or dairy products see countless conditions disappear from their skin. Allergic conditions, histamine conditions, anything you want that has to do with skin conditions. If you change your diet and you eliminate the problem within, in this case, milk consumption, there's no way your skin can keep showing signs of distress. And by the way, I'm going to say more, because if you have any skin condition, the first thing you should be thinking about doing is eliminating lactose and any other food that could potentially cause allergies or intolerance. Very, very important for your skin and your skin beauty. And how about the channel by giving this video a thumbs up and sharing it with your friends and family. And if you have any questions, leave your comments down below and I'd be happy to assist you. If you need quality supplements for your disease or line of appointment, visit all the com and check out these other videos related to this topic. You can have other information that might prevent a serious health condition in the future. Thanks for watching, you guys, and I'll see you soon.